Our next adventure takes us back here to the Hyatt Regency Hotel at the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. We are here for Texas Frightmare Week in 2022. As you can see, there's not many people yet down here. We're on the convention floor level. But right now, it's the calm before the storm. So come join us for a weekend of shenanigans and tomfoolery. It has begun! <laughs> see people are starting to trickle in down here a little bit at a time again the convention portions not open yet we still have vendors going in there setting up so yep there's the ATM get a shot of that before it run, runs out of money yeah I'm gonna head upstairs to see what's going on up here right now like I said it's still fairly early people are still trickling in Flights are landing, people are still at work, so. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much got a who's who of four icons walking around. Decided to pop outside for a minute. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully it's not interrupting the audio feed too much, but see out here, a lot of people do come out here and hang out as well, as you can see. I'm going to get a quick glimpse of the lobby area, but people are starting to pile in here as well. Everybody's giddy with excitement because it's Frightmare Weekend. I haven't seen too many uh, cosplay outfits just yet, but I assure you, they're coming. There's uh, Elizabeth over there signing up for a raffle. It is a packed house down here. We got Father Evil back there, but right there, it's the one and only cosplay Jesus. Jesus is in the building. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. She probably needs Jesus. There's 
she goes. There she goes. Whoops. Whoa. Yikes. Yep, they're out in full force. But in a minute, we're about to have a special uh, breaking news alert from Ed Neal. He was a hitchhiker in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so his wife gave us the scoop. But a big announcement is forthcoming. Once that dries a sec, we'll set it up and we'll get a video of you just... Yeah, you can like hold the camera or something. Jack, we'll, we'll take it out. Oh, you think you have to drive? Just drive. Okay. Do you have to pop that out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you still remember? <laughs> and then you push that. You cut that out. You cut that out. One of those. It comes right out. And then this is what you can Like, like he does in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Revealed. Yeah. And then just say something to the effect of, uh, really excited to be back in the Hitchhiker, I'll see you guys in the game or something like that. Now, do you want the, the company ID? No, that's fine. Oh, yeah, no, we're good. Yeah. Just say I'm super excited to be playing the Hitchhiker in the game. Are you ready? You ready? <laughs> I'm like really excited to be doing the hitchhiker in the new video game. <laughs> I can't wait. And here he comes. Jason from part six? Damn it. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, Jason. Michael Myers Halloween 2, right? Yeah, we get the nod of approval right there. Michael Myers. Some kind of stare down going on between Pinhead. Oh, uh oh. Yep, it's happening right here. An offering of peace. Never trust a guy with pins in his head. Dress as a pirate. Oh no, he spotted us. Peace has been made. Peace has been made. Two good friends right there. Pinhead and Father Evil.
Vegas and just have some of the best, best pop culture items you can imagine. A lot of horror. Well, here he comes. Father Evil, do you have any wise words for us today? Sin. Sin. Sin for death. And there you go. That's how it You stick it in so I can pull it out and I can make it like, just, you know. This is a rehearsal. It's just rehearsal. Fun. Rehearsal. Fun. Oh, I love this. I love all this. There you go. All right, Blade. You're up, buddy. Oh, she's gone. Oh, but she's already gone, Blade. <laughs> I'll sacrifice my own wife, though, if you want to go ahead and cut her head off. Oh, it's going to happen. A homicide right here. Oh, my God. Patrick Bateman? Ah, I knew it. There he is. So we got some sort of stormtrooper there. He has taken off his helmet, which I think is forbidden. The AEW champion who walked by. He's got his own soundtrack and theme music walking down in the uh, up and down the aisles. That's pretty much a who's who walking around here. Pretty much every pretty much got every horror icon you can imagine. You see Freddy over there having a very serious conversation. There he goes. There he's checking out the merchandise. It's Freddy right there. I'm like, there he is, cowboy. One thing I like about coming to these conventions, you get a lot of local vendors or independent vendors just coming out here selling their stuff. A lot of it made by themselves. This is from Madly Made Creations. And she makes all of these herself. Pretty amazing. Saturday night. See down the convention floor. Not as crowded as it was earlier. I'll zip around here. Kind of give you an overview of the lobby. There's still people ling lingering around. And there's a screening going on down here too, so. But yeah, without all those people down here, it's a lot cooler. When it's crowded, it's very humid. It's like its own weather system down here. That's right up here. That one of the screenings is going on right over to the right in that Maverick room. But yeah, we still have a few lurkers around here.
you know, when you come to places like this, it's always nice to, to interact with a lot of the vendors. A lot of these vendors make some of this stuff themselves. They come here to sell it. It's really, really well done, very creative. So that's one of the good things, supporting independent businesses. And it happens every year here. See us are walking down the convention floor. See this big long line of people to the left. This is the line to see Matthew Lillard. Literally stretches all the way down to the end. So people wait for hours for a lot of these celebrity guests. Practically the whole day. And you're still not guaranteed an autograph or a photo. And there's Michael Myers right there. Hey Michael, you headed, you headed to Haddonfield? I think it's that way though. I think it's that way, to the right. There he goes. <laughs> Behind him, Jason, Jason. There he is, right there. Are you looking for Crystal Lake? You're looking, it's right behind you. Yeah, back that way, sir. Happy killing. As we walk up the stairs, ending Frightmare Weekend for another year, you can't help but shed a slight tear at it's over. There's Jason right there. Seems very sad and depressed. We've got some recently, some bad news. It's bad news, Jason, right there. It's a replica of the original van from the 1974 film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Again, it's not the original, it's just a replica. All right, folks. Well, that wraps up another fun-filled year here at the Hyatt Regency, Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, Texas Frightmare Week in 2022. We've got Nightmare Toys van behind us. Over this shoulder, we got a replica of the van from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, I figured this was a great spot to bid our farewells. Tom Foolery was had this weekend. Lots of fun, lots of memories with good friends. We had a good time. Can't wait to do it again next year. Thank you guys. Appreciate you joining us. Like and subscribe, usual. We'll see you next time.